what's up everybody my name is Anthony and in this video I'd like to talk about sesa flies in the Masai Mara now I'm from Kenya and I've been to the Masai Mara a number of times and um, I'd want to uh, just demystify uh, what kind of bugs you expect to find there um, now I live in a place well as you can see it's an estate fine but um, if you can see that mountain over there that's Kilimambogo National Park uh, and a lot of uh, other national parks are not so far from here and so the weather is slightly the same um, and um, there are not very many sesa flies around now I have personally been bitten by a sesa fly three dif different times um, but the number of times that I've been bitten uh, by a sesa fly it's most likely that I was uh, in a bush somewhere or uh, in the farm uh, and not uh, like on tarmac uh, or um, on the road as I am right now and so uh, sesa fly bites are really rare and if that's what you're afraid about are afraid of when uh, planning to come to Kenya then don't uh, because it's very unlikely that you're going to uh, get a sesa fly bite uh, however if you do here are a few things that you need to um, take care of uh, first is when it bites you the bite is sharp uh, very sharp it feels like a needle and you'll definitely feel it uh, so uh, what you need to do to uh, just make the pain go away it usually goes away after like five minutes or so uh, but some ointment will help with that uh, don't scratch it if you scratch it you're most likely going to uh, open it up and uh, things like infections come from uh, doing that mosquito bites will do that to you too by the way if um, you're going to scratch uh, where it bit you uh, it's going to develop a small bump um, and uh, but the bump goes away after uh, a day or two and so um, don't be afraid about that don't be afraid of that um, yeah so the so flies are rare and you should not be afraid of those the thing you should be afraid of uh, is getting bitten by mosquitoes now mosquitoes carry malaria and if you do not come to Kenya prepared to deal with malaria it's likely you might get it um, not to scare you it's getting rarer and rarer to get malaria these days but uh, you have to be aware that this is a malaria belt and so you need to come prepared uh, prepared for that uh, anti-malarial uh, pills ahead of time will help with that make sure you get those from your doctor um, yeah and ensure that you sleep under a mosquito net um, bug repellent will also help in protecting you during the day and those bugs can really get to you now Africa has a lot of bugs a lot of really strange and interesting bugs many of them are harmless and um, you may want to uh, like run away when you see one in your bed don't a uh, good way of dealing with it is just picking up a tissue paper and just grabbing it and throwing out the door um, uh, yeah so one more thing uh, you will find small lizards um, sometimes in your room and these may um, seem slightly scary or you may want to like kick them out of um, of your room uh, I would advise you not to they really help in dealing with mosquitoes and other bugs uh, and so they are actually your friends they're pretty harmless um, just in case it seems a bit big and scary you may need to ask your hotel uh, to uh, advise you on that or probably remove it but I wouldn't worry so much about it so yeah uh, that's how to deal with sesa flies if you're in the Mara or any other uh, national park in Kenya now Kenya is a beautiful place and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it don't be afraid of coming here it is safe and uh, a lovely place to travel so um, pack your bags come and uh, visit so that's my video today now my intention is to be publishing often and just giving you tips on what you should do when coming to Kenya coming to visit Kenya so come and have a lovely time here it's a beautiful country and you will have the time of your life so until next time, bye.